they're trying to to turn this into a culture war thing. That's why they're saying truck drivers are paying a loan for someone who got a PhD in gender studies. That's not the broad majority of people that got uh, student loans, man. So I don't think this will work. I don't think this is an effective propaganda. Also, this fucking piece of shit, sucking fucking crook, also got his uh, student loan debt uh, paid for, by the way, by Brandon. Literally $10,000. So just remember that. Uh, it's very unfair, you know, to have a truck driver have to pay back a loan from somebody that got like a PhD in gender studies. That's not fair. That's not right. <laughs> And so, um, and then you also just have the fact, like, if you're going to talk about debt, then you should look at, okay, who has benefited the most from all this exorbitant debt that's been taken out over the last generation? It's the universities. They have bloated administrative budgets. This part they have is right. This, although in Florida. This part is right. Do something about it, pussy. This part is right. This part is correct. Do something about it. Shut the f up. Do something about it. Nut up or shut up. The only time this demon is motivated to do anything is if he thinks he can get a f Fox and Five uh, uh, coverage news cycle out of it. Be the hero. Be a hero. Be a f***ing hero. Do something about it. Uh, since I've been governor, no tuition increases at our state universities. We haven't allowed that. Because all it does, all it does is they plow it in and they will, they will expand like the DEI office or something else like that. And it has no real impact on the quality of the education when they're raising the tuition. It just creates more administrative bloat. And that's been going on. And the colleges and universities have gotten a free ride at this. So, you know, my view is, is, you know, if you're going to do some type of student loan, you know, uh, relief, it's not really relief because people are still paying for it. But the people that should pay for it are not the American taxpayers. It should be the university. Well, good thing American taxpayers are not paying for it. Also, truck drivers have student loan debt. Some of them do. Some of them have children with student loan debt. Some of them are about to have college-aged children that will need to take on student loans. So shut the f up. Shut the f up. Shut your stupid f mouth. Also, this is debt that the federal government has taken on. It's it's adding to the deficit, but it's not actually like uh, you're not paying for it with higher taxes unless the government takes action to also uh, decrease the deficit, which it did already. So don't worry about it. What is this? You know I'm right. Guy on the left is you if you stayed in Florida. This guy? No. City should be responsible uh, for that. If they're producing people, they went deep into debt and their degree is not worth anything and they're not able to make enough money to pay it back, uh, well, then that's on them. And they've had an incentive to get more and more loans taken out. Yeah, this is a compact thumbelina. I love female cops because they have the exact same like physical demeanor characteristics of a male cop, which is incredibly thumb like. Like this is literally a sack of potatoes, dude. Look at this. I love that. They're so they're built like a Mack truck. They're so dense and then put it in their pocket. So we should look at these universities. But what Biden is doing, uh, it, it's going to cause more inflation, which is what you just oh, it's going to cause more inflation. No, it's not. Shut the f up. Had one of Obama's economists come out and say. I hate that Jason Furman demon came out and said it. Now every Republican is f running with that. Obama's own economist said it. Yeah, f that guy. Oh, now you care about Obama's economist. Okay, got it. Hey, this is the worst time to do this. It's going to fuel inflation. This is not good policy. Obviously, the fairness and all that uh, is very important, uh, but it's not a good uh, fiscal or monetary policy. Um, and so, so you see that. But then you also have the fact that they're doing that with zero reform to the universities and the loans and everything that's happened that's clearly way, way out of whack. Uh, so and then, you know, I think this is still important. Some people uh, uh, may not care as much. He does not have the constitutional authority. That's literally not true. So you see that. But then you also have the fact that they're doing that with zero reform to the universities. And this part is true. The only part about this that is true is that college college education is far too expensive and it has gotten completely out of control. But a video of every single Republican saying it and and. Go cut a video of every single Republican that has criticized this action and say, hey, we're putting forward a new package that is going to implement price checks on on textbooks and college education. It is incredibly high and we need to lower those, especially for public universities. We're going to make it taxpayer funded and we're going to make it cheaper. Go ahead. Do it. That's policy. These guys never want to do that. These guys just want to complain. They're using one adequate complaint against college campuses and, and, and skyrocketing tuition to, to hit over the head of like one band-aid measure that the Biden administration accidentally landed on.
I hate that. But what do you expect from Ron DeSantis' fucking own spokesperson who blocked me, by the way? Matt Walsh says, if you support student loan forgiveness, it is because you personally benefit. Please just admit your support is selfish and you don't mind taking it from other people if it helps you. At least be honest and stop pretending that you have principled reasons for your stance. Okay, I'm gonna f on him. Poker rich person for the working class? Yeah, well, guess what, bitch? It works in this situation. These motherfuckers worship the altar of, of capitalism. They worship the altar of money. Okay, I got more of it than Matt Walsh does. Suck me, Matt Walsh. Suck me and and f me. Okay, I pay my own student loans and my brothers, and I think this is awesome for everyone else. Republicans regularly project their spiteful, selfish worldview as though it's policy. I was in the dumbass Air Force and the VA paid for all my debt, and I 100% support free college all the way to PhD if people want it. Matt Walsh can suck me when he's done with you. Yeah, Matt Walsh should suck all of us. By the way, this is Christina Pushaw who f blocked me, coward. No rich person has ever down turned down free money. Exactly. What do I, I say this all the time and it actually makes me happy that other people are finally paying attention to that. Rich people not only never say no to free money, but they literally will tailor policy. They get subsidies. They get tax cuts. If they don't get it, they cry foul. They write legislation to make sure that they get it. Only poor people are like, oh, should I get this? I don't know. Okay, bro. How about we help the homeless or people who are below the poverty line? You live in LA, leave your rich privileged neighborhood and look around. There's homeless everywhere. I live in West Hollywood. There's literally more homeless people here than your bum dumbass neighborhood where no one wants to live, including homeless people. Shut the f up. Who do you think you're talking to, you f idiot? I also 1 million percent am an advocate for public housing. So what the f are you talking about? You dumb bitch trying to come in here and be like, uh -huh, you're so privileged. Yeah, I know. Guess what? I'm sorry that no one wants to live in your shithole or Kansas town. Okay. Even the homeless people don't want to live there. Speaking of homeless people though, here's a good policy. Not Ron DeSantis. That. Uh, also not this, not this. <laughs>